Good morning, my friends. How are you all? Today we are going to find out or discuss about uh, uh, the length and width of a perimeter uh, with a given area. Okay. Uh, so length and width of a rectangle with a given area. Okay. And we want to find out the length and width given an area, but we want to keep the perimeter to a minimum value. So I'll share my computer screen with you. Find the length and width of a rectangle that has the given area and a minimum perimeter. Area is given as 32 square feet. Okay. So area is 32 square feet. We want to find the length and the width but we want to keep the perimeter uh, to a minimum, okay? So, let's do the solution to this problem. So, let x be the length. And y be the width of the perimeter of the rectangle width of the rectangle okay and then it's then area area is given as 32 square feet is equal to x times y Okay, or if we divide by y on both sides, we get x is equal to 32, or rather we want to find out y, okay, that will be easy. So, clear this. So, we are going to divide by y uh, by x on both sides, okay? So 32 divided by x is equal to x times y divided by x, okay? So 32 is divided by x. Now here x and x cancels. So we have y is equal to 32 over x, okay? Now the perimeter, let uh, P is equal to perimeter of the rectangle. Then perimeter P is equal to 2 times X plus 2 times Y, right? Twice the length plus twice the width, which we can write as 2 times X plus 2 for y, I can write 32 over x. Okay. So it becomes perimeter is equal to 2x plus 2 times 32 is 64 over x. Okay. Now we want to minimize the perimeter. Okay. So dp, so we find the derivative of p with respect to x which is 2, 2 minus 64 and x to the power of minus 1 is x to the power of minus 1 minus 1 and the minus sign is uh, uh, coming to the front. So it is 64 times, uh, so we are finding the derivative of this, d of dx 2x minus 64 x or plus 64 x to the power of minus 1, which is equal to uh, derivative of 2x is 2 and derivative of x minus 1 is minus 1 x to the power of minus 2. So this will become 2 minus 64 x squared. Because minus 1 minus 1 exponent of x becomes minus 2, which we bring to the denominator 
to give it x square. Okay. And if we set this equal to zero, dp by dx is equal to zero. Okay. Then we have two minus sixty-four x square is equal to zero. Or two is equal to 64 over x squared by adding 64 x squared on both sides. Then we multiply both sides by x squared. We get 2 x squared is equal to 64. And then divide by 2 on both sides. x squared is equal to 32. OK. Uh, 32 means uh, if I create some space for myself, So x square is equal to 32 when dp by dx is equal to 0. Derivative, first derivative of perimeter with respect to x is 0. From that, we got x square equal to 32. Or x square is equal to 16 times 2. So x is equal to square root of 16 times square root of 2, which is 4 square root of 2. OK. Um, now let's find the second derivative. So we know dp by dx is equal to 2 minus 64 over x squared. Okay. So creating some more space. So now let's find the second derivative of P with respect to x is equal to uh, now derivative of 2 with respect to x is 0. And because it's x squared, when x squared comes to the numerator, it becomes x minus 2. So it is minus times minus. Then uh, x uh, times 64 times x to the power of minus 2 minus 1 is x uh, cubed. So x to the power of minus 3, which is equal to 128 over x to the power of 3. OK. And the second derivative of p with respect to x squared is greater than 0 when x is equal to 4 square root of 2. So thus, we come to the conclusion because the second derivative of x is positive when x is greater than 0. We, I mean, greater than 4 point, when x equal to 4, point, uh, 4 square root of 2. The second derivative is greater than 0, which means it is positive when x is 4 square root of 2. And therefore, we come to the conclusion. Okay. We come to the conclusion. that uh, p is uh, minimum p is minimum when x is equal to 4 square root of 2 okay and the reason is the second derivative is greater than 0 when x is equal to 4 square root of 2 how did I find the value of x4 square root of 2? I set the first derivative as 0 and solve for x, which is x squared equal to 32. So x is 4 square root of 2. And we proved that the second derivative is greater than 0 when x is equal to 4 square root of 2. Hence, the perimeter is minimum when x is equal to 4 square root of 2. So this is the answer for the problem. I'll stop here today. If you have any question or comment, uh, please write me a note.
and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please let your friends know about it. And you and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll come back next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Take care. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. See you next time.